Well, that is kind of a shock, but well, they're making zero sense, but I don't think it's a shock for the right reasons. Alright, let's get this over with. Trisha gets back into the car and is about to drive off when the clown starts to get back up. Fortunately, the clown's put his mask back on, which allows him to reuse the death scene from before. In fact, even if you look very closely, you can see that it's Trisha driving both times. So with the clown either dead or too far behind the car, Trisha can now drive off safely, right? Wrong. No, of course not. Instead, well, just see. <laughs> Yep, that's right, this film's final twist is that she was in a mental hospital the whole time. They even save money by having all the friends from before play different parts, like Steve as the doctor and Jay as the sheriff. Evidently they didn't really feel that padded walls were necessary in a mental asylum though. Anyway, the best bits come when Tim Young enters as a sheriff and begins questioning her as to whether she killed everyone, to which Trisha has a rock-solid defense. It wasn't me! It wasn't me! It, it was the clown! It was Harris! It was, it was the clown! Don't you see? Don't you see? We, we, oh sure, just keep yelling the clown. That'll show him that you're sane. I'm going to come back tomorrow, Miss Young. Maybe then you'll be able to tell me what really happened. But I am telling you the truth! I'm telling you the truth! I'm not crazy! I'm not! Nurse, can we get a sedative in here, please? No! Well, at least we ended the movie with no stupid scene of the clown walking in. Oh, did we? Is you? <gasps> no! Somebody help me! No, please! No! Anyway, that was Camp Blood, and for what it was worth, it was entertaining, just for the wrong reasons. It had a very low budget and so therefore couldn't afford a good script, good effects, good actors, tension, some of the things you might have wanted in a film. But those are all the qualities that make this film entertaining. If you're looking for a serious horror movie, I would suggest looking almost anywhere else. This film is littered with incredibly bad decisions, bad camera work, just everything is terrible. No characterization or mystery to the whole thing. However, if you're looking for something that's just a bit of a laugh with some friends, you just sit down, have a bit of fun. You could do a lot worse. The only problem I really had was with the ending. I mean, and after all, that's the crazy thing. How would anyone not notice they were in a mental asylum the whole time? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go have tea with the Queen on Jupiter. Hi ho, Silva! I call this one the Campfire Song Song. Let's gather around the campfire and sing our campfire song. Our C A M P F I R E S O N G song. And if you don't think that we can sing it faster, then you're wrong. But it'll help if you just sing along. Bum, bum, bum.